Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In today's video, we will talk about adding fractions using the butterfly method. So without further ado, let's do this topic. What we have here are two examples wherein we will do addition of fractions by butterfly method. We have a previous video on how to add fractions and you can see it here. So let's proceed with item number one. We have one over five plus three over four. So how do we perform the butterfly method? First, let me write the two fractions. One over five plus three over four. Now, the first thing you need to do is to multiply these numbers. One times four, that would be equal to four. That would be your first numerator here. Next, multiply these numbers. We have 5 times 3, that would be 15. So this is plus 15. And now, for your denominator, multiply these two numbers. We have 5 times 4, which is 20. And as you can see, all we need to do is to add these numerators 4 plus 5, which is equal to 19 over your denominator which is 20 and the final thing we need to do is to check if this sum can be simplified or not since 19 over 20 is already simplified we can declare that this is the final answer 19 over 20 next you can pause the video and answer 3 over 7 plus 5 over 2 Okay, let's try answering the second problem. We have 3 over 7 plus 5 over 2. To apply the butterfly method, multiply these numbers. 3 times 2, that would be 6. So equal to 6. Plus, multiply these numbers. We have 7 times 5, that would be 35. So this is plus 35 over, multiply the denominators, 7 times 2, which is equal to 14. Add these numbers, we have 6 plus 35, that would be 41 over 14. Now, is this, our, can we still simplify this fraction? No, but... The problem here is that this one is an improper fraction. We can rewrite it into a mixed number. So this one can be written as, so we will divide 41 by 14. 41 divided by 14, that would be equal to 2. 2 times, 20, 2 times 14, which is equal to 28. And now subtracting this. This is equal to 3, and then 3 minus 2, which is equal to 1. Now, this quotient 2 will become the whole number. Now, this remainder will become the numerator over this one will become the denominator. And as you can see, the answer must be 41 over 14 or 2 and 13 over 14. That's it, guys. Now, as part of our routine, let me give you a problem, which is item number 3, wherein you will try to use the butterfly method to add 2 thirds plus 4 over 5. Update me in the comment section what is your answer in number 3. So that's it, guys. So guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat and bye-bye!